Hey guys, welcome to Hang With Me Saturday. Getting ready to go out shopping for my Saturday grocery shopping. And let me tell you guys, there, I mean, there's no reason why I need any other bag than this one right here. This one is just, come on now, it's perfect for me. I know you can't see because of the glare of the light, but look at how it just hangs. It's like the perfect hobo sack. I have to take care of this at some point soon because we are heading towards spring. And even though I love this setup that I have right now, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's time to switch it over to spring bags. I'm just getting me spring colorful uh, itch. And come on. These go with everything, don't they? All right. I'm going shopping. Oh, jeez. That was a nice close-up. Bye-bye. John's editing right now. John's editing. John's editing his latest video. Latest video. If you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, you check it like out it. or send somebody over there because yeah. it's pretty cool. He's got some like... he's got some mad skills. Thanks, Mom. If you guys have like <laughs> children or nephews or nieces or anyone who is uh around twenty years old or so, nineteen. Who loves cars. Who loves cars or you know, cool people like myself. Uh, feel free to tell them about my channel. He doesn't get his confidence from me, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure my mom would be willing to link my channel in the description down below. Yeah, I've done it already. Oh, I've sure. given you a shout out. Oh, well, it's uh, it's Yanni space Yanni, and then there's a space in between, and then Knowles Yanni Knowles. That's me, but there will be a link in the description. If I remember. Oh, you'll remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, dude. Dude. Dude, have fun. Bye, dude. Have fun at the Bye. store, dude. Thank you. There's mommy getting some rest. <laughs> Noah's finally stopped crying up there. All right, heading out. First stop, Target. Essentials. Home needs, baby stuff. Um, that's about it. So last night my neighborhood was filled with the energy of country fans walking all over because none other than Blake Shelton was in my neighborhood yesterday. Can you believe it? He was playing at a, um, a venue near my house it's always fun when well sometimes it's fun because I I actually went to get pizza at a place near here and it's crazy if you're ever trying to go anywhere when there's an event you, it just you can't do it quickly so it always takes a little longer but it's fun to watch all the people uh, all dressed up you know I came home and I said I, it was fun watching all the people all dressed up and going to the country concert and Rob was like, what do you mean all dressed up? And I go, well, in cuter shoes than these. And I pointed down to my Asics and he started laughing. I said, oh, you know, in uh, uh, cowboy boots and fancy clothes and dressed to the nines to go to a concert. I really wanted to go. I was tempted to see if they had any tickets left and just to get one and go by myself. But then I thought that might be a little too hard on my feet yet to be, you know, walking around and then standing and all that stuff. But I would have liked to see Blake Shelton, and I wonder if Gwen was with him. But, yeah, he's probably gone by now. But it was kind of cool. It's always cool to think these celebrities are right here, close to home, and you kind of just want to go, which hotel are they staying at? Oh, I know. That was like crazy stalker um, fan right there. But I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. And I watch The Voice, and I think... He's right here near my house. 
All right, I'm going to Target now. Enough of the crazy stalker fan ranting. I was alone with that girl at the fire once and no. Wishing you were there all alone. Wondering how I ever got your little hand in mine. Wasn't that ain't she beautiful? I'm invisible. I'm staying right there and smile. Oh, right beside me, all that I see. I don't know, I don't know. I got ripped off. I paid $6 at Kohl's. Um, this is what I was told. Where's the hand motion? I want the little tube for my purse. I guess I'm not getting it. Yep, sometimes I just gotta die that beer. fun. I got to use my Target gift card that I got for doing my health assessment online for um, my Blue Cross Blue Shield um, Anthem, Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is our insurance. And all I did was have to fill out a few things about my health history and my current health and my current habits. And I got a $100 gift card for a retailer of my choice from a long list of retailers and I chose Target because that's where I do a lot of my household shopping. That way I could pay myself back the $100 and put into my savings account toward my, I don't know, my fun money because they didn't have any of the fun retailers on there. So I just decided to give myself cash and then, you know, use it for regular household expenses. So now, and I didn't even use the whole thing, so I still have some left. So like a free shopping trip to Target. Now I'm getting gas at Sam's Club and then I'm gonna go in and shop. And this one is probably gonna hurt. And this gas station is freaking crazy right now. Maybe I should do it after. I think I'm gonna get gas after I shop. Maybe it'll calm down a little bit. Ooh, doggy, that hurt. That's what happens when you don't go to Sam's Club for a while. Put it this way, I had $27 in instant savings and when you have $27 in instant savings, you know you spent a lot. But I had to get a few things that were household items that were on the pricier side and all that stuff adds up. This place is just as crowded as it was before. Ay, ay, ay. So I sit here and wait patiently for my cheap gasoline. Um, I got to see my favorite Sam's Club employee, the cart guy. He's always so friendly. He recognizes me all the time when I come here like twice a week, but he has been on vacation, he said, and um, I told him I hadn't been here in a little while. and. He said, yeah, I didn't see you. So uh, he's always very friendly. He takes my cart when I'm done unloading and um, he's always here, always here. And I guess I am too. So after this, it is, there you go, Brenda. I love New York. I got this from uh, Jessica when she went to New York City on vacation with her mom. So, I have my coffee in there. Yeah, get this done, go unload at home, try to squeeze everything into the freezer, which I can never squeeze everything into the freezer, that's the problem. And in the winter time when it's cold out, our garage freezer does not freeze things. Everything gets thawed and then the refrigerator freezes everything, so go figure. But, so then we have to try to cram everything into our house freezer which isn't side by side so there's like no room to squeeze anything in there I'm telling you I wish I could get a new refrigerator but I have more important things to do with my money right now because this one still runs I better go catch it <laughs> here's my normal walking place and I miss it I miss walking here and 
when you walk here regularly you see the same people and so it's like a little walking community can't wait to go back Recognizes me now. I trim my beard. Oh, he does. No, do do? I don't think he likes this song. Hey, hey, Grumpy little puss. dude. Hey, Mr. Little Grumpy dude. face. Are you tired, Noah? <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Noah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> there he goes. It's done. Hi. You finally look at me. Then you can smile. Yeah. Okay, I gotta unload the car. on bag time yeah I'm just bored this is what I do I get all distracted and I just took all of my bags off my shelves and let's try them on these are still my fall winter bags so to start we have Stanwich in the natural Florentine leather isn't this gorgeous I don't wear this bag enough I'm gonna have to wear it more often gorgeous I don't have the strap on I was gonna try to carry it as a handheld or crook of the arm just to see if I could actually have a regular speedy in my life um, so there's one here's another one that was up on that shelf Gretchen hobo see how this one looks of course nothing's gonna match very well because I'm not really dressed up it's a Saturday running around there's Gretchen I love Gretchen then we have my coach. I can never remember the name of this bag. C Sierra? Sierra Satchel? Also, there's a strap that goes with this one, too, that I have. Here is Olivia. The strap's also inside. I was going to try to carry this one as a handheld because this would be the biggest test. Can I handle a Speedy without a strap? Because that's the, the pre-loved ones on the market are the cheapest. They're, they're not the Speedy Bees. It's hard to find Speedy Bees pre-loved. Um, but it seems like there are a lot of uh, regular Speedies. So I was going to see if I could handle this first. Because this is like actually I think the size of the Speedy 30. I compared the measurements with um, that I saw online for the Speedy 30 and this one and they measure up pretty much the same so I know that it would be a good size for me but I'm still wondering do I want a 25 or a 30 if I get the bandolier I think I'm gonna have to go try them on in the store so that's that then I have this gorgeous bag which I don't carry nearly enough this is so pretty and she's got the gorgeous sparkly blingy dragonfly charm from my friend Francis Ann. Thank you Francis Ann. This has made its way to this bag and has never left it. So here we got duckies. Duckies. This is so cute. Again I don't carry this one as much either because I'm I don't know I'm it's harder for me to wear patterned bags because I feel like they compete with if I'm wearing a pattern. 
So I feel like I'm wearing a belly shirt jacket today because it's too short for me and the sleeves are too short for me. <laughs> it's just Saturday, I'm just running around. There are the nookies and I have that cute charm on there that I bought at the outlet. Here is this one and you guys, I am having a hard time with this one because it's the Chelsea Shopper and it's just not fitting my lifestyle. But it's the only bag I have in ostrich and it's in the black and gray, which was not easy to find. And it's just pretty. So it sits on my shelf and I look at it, but I just don't carry it. I'm considering maybe selling this one. Maybe, because I just feel like the strap's a little long for me on how I like to carry my shoulder bags. And it's just big, it's wide this way. I mean, if it was thinner, I think it'd be better, but I don't know. And I don't think this one's going to be as easy to sell because I didn't notice until after I got home from the outlet the day I bought it, that it has a little bit of a stitching defect on the handle. And unfortunately, it's on the front handle and you can see it. So, um, yeah, it's just like the, the sewing machine went a little wonky when it was stitching that part right there. So, I don't know, I don't know, just keep it and maybe someday I'll find a use for it. I don't know. And then, my pretty um, Safiano Hobo in the color Oyster, which is such a pretty color for the summer. You don't realize how much purple this has in it until you wear a purple top with it, and it just holes from there. I mean, it is just such a great hobo. It's comfortable, it's light, it sits under the arm. I just love this bag. And then I've got my one and only authentic Louis Vuitton uh, pochette accessoire with my chain strap that I got on eBay. And I can go around with it like this, which it doesn't hold enough for me to just carry around, which is unfortunate because I really love it. But I also have this length strap that I got on eBay. It's a chain, it's not a strap. It's chain. And it's pretty, uh, I don't know. Oops, I'm trying to attach to the zipper pull, hello. But this one's a little different style. It's like a standard chain, and the short one is more like a rounded link. So this we can carry like this. Isn't that fancy? I love it. Perfect to go, you know, why don't I take this shopping on weekends? Why am I lugging this around? Although this really was pretty comfortable today. But why? I can carry this and be much more comfortable in fact maybe I'm just gonna leave this on here for now and maybe take it with me to the store later if I go to the store later or tomorrow but anyway there we go all right I got to put these back on the shelves after I dust them off and <sighs> that was fun it's what's for dinner tonight Real beer batter, wild caught cod fillets. These look delicious. So they're cooking. And these are two of the things that I bought at Sam's Club today because the mats I had down here were getting kind of old and pretty gross. So I thought these were pretty. What do you guys think? This is where I mostly stand and where everybody stands to prepare food and make things and things like that. So. That's why I put a mat there. And of course, by the sink, where we're always standing. It helps preserve the cleanliness of the tile grout because that gets dirty really easily. And when we're standing there most of the time, it gets really dirty and dingy. So I figure buy mats, replace them every so often, and then I won't have to sit on the ground on my hands and knees and scrub this floor with Comet or Soft Scrub like I mostly have to do all the time. So that's it. Other than that, I've got, I'm gonna add this and 
I'm cooking some basmati rice and some chicken broth, and I'm going to add that to it. And that's going to be our dinner. And I'm trying these for the first time. I like these Bai beverages because they're somewhat healthy alternative to a soda. And these have zero sugar, no artificial sweeteners, caffeinated beverage. And this flavor is Jambi ginger ale. There's a cola flavor and there's also a lemon lime flavor. So this one's pretty good. I've got it on ice right now with the ginger ale flavor. I really like it. So I'm heading over to my neighbor, good friend and neighbor's house behind me because they left for Disney World today. And they're expecting a package to be delivered, so they asked me to go over there and pick it up for them. Um, I went over earlier and nothing yet. I was very surprised because usually by 5.30 UPS is here. So... Oh, I'm so full. That was so good. Everybody liked the beer battered cod. It was a hit. Rice turned out good. Donald Trump talk around the dinner table. I probably should have filmed that. That was kind of funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's been delivered. My son is a Donald Trump supporter and Rob is not. So it always makes for good conversation. So, oh, it's nice out today. It was like 40 something, mid to upper 40s, I think. But I wish the sun would have been out a little longer. It was kind of cloudy. And it's still pretty nice out. I hope I'm not covering up the speaker like I always do because I hold the phone on that side. So, um, here comes an airplane. Can you hear it? Let's see if I can aim this up. See that? Yeah. Someday I'm going to move away from here in the country where it's peaceful and quiet and I don't have to listen to that. Oh, trudging through the uneven grass, trying not to hurt myself and my, my basics. Okay, I'm back. So I am now vowing no clothes, no clothes purchases, no clothing purchases this year because I clearly don't even have enough room in my closet. I mean, look it, I have more than what I need. This is ridiculous. I even have clothes in Jessica's closet because I don't have enough room here. And then that's one side. This side is packed also, you can't really see too well, but it's got jackets and blazers and sweaters and things like that. And my favorite maxi dress is here. So, that's that. No clothes, no shoes, no bags. I have enough. I have enough. And we are running out of space in this place. So, it's now 6.41 Saturday night and I am gonna take it easy. I have been running around cleaning stuff out. I, um, John evicted one of my uh, boxes of shoes and boots that were under his bed for storage. So it forced me to have to clean out the closets and get all of my boots, put them in a tub and put them in the crawl space and then take my sandals and um, yeah, mostly sandals, summer shoes, you know, and spring shoes and get them in the closets because I can't wear my boots anymore anyway. I'm going to be wearing my gym shoes for, you know, until probably April, April, May, probably, well, probably, probably sometime in late April. So 
at that point it'll probably be warm enough out to be able to just transition into um, you know sandals and stuff like that so um, boots are put away they're in the crawl space and I also put them in a bin under my bed here. My good boots I, that I didn't want to risk putting in the crawl space. I put them under my bed. And so, and then I made dinner and now I cleaned up dinner. And so now it's going to be just me time. So I think I'm probably going to end here. I thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I, um... I had a good day. Every day is a good day. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say from now on. Every day is a good day. So I hope you guys had a good day. And thanks so much for joining me and hanging out with me today. And um, have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks, guys. Bye.